Hello, and welcome to Cindy's Corner. It's so good to have you today if you've got the book Now and Ben. Now and Ben. Well, ben, what do you think that's going to be about? Okay, we're talking about Ben Franklin. My, have things have changed. Have things changed since you were born? What's kind of changed? Lots have changed since I was born. I can tell you that. I remember when several things happened. All right, so we're going to talk about, if you've got this book, go get it so that you can follow along. It's The Modern Inventions. Some of you might be an inventor. What are you going to invent? Let's see what Ben invented. The Modern Inventions of Benjamin Franklin. <clears throat> Got all kinds of inventions, don't we? Okay, here's our title page. Looks interesting, doesn't it? Now and Ben, the modern in inventions of Benjamin Franklin. The author is Jean Beretta. Now and then. Can y'all see that okay? Let's turn that that way. Now and then. We think about Ben, Dr. Ben Franklin, to be precise. And we think about his many inventions. Inventions he originated more than 200 years ago. It was as if Ben could see into the future. Almost Everything he created is still around today. For instance, now our newspapers are filled with illustrations. Ben was the first to print a political cartoon in America. The cartoon encouraged the American colonies to join together or die like the disconnected snake. Okay. This cartoon. Didn't know he was a cartoonist, did you? Now, bifocals. I don't have my glasses on today, but they're bifocals. Hmm. Are very common. Bifocals combine two sets of lens into one pair of glasses. The bottom lens helps them see near, and the top lens helps them see far. See right here. Ben originally designed bifocals for himself after he grew tired of switching between two pairs of glasses. Now, our world relies on electricity. In the 18th century, many people still believed that lightning was an act of anger and punishment from God. Ben was one of the scientists who discovered the true nature of electricity and how to use it. He learned that lightning is electricity when he attached a small metal wire to the top of a kite and gathered electricity from a storm cloud. Now, many buildings and homes use lightning rods to protect against lightning strikes. Ben invented the lightning rod and was the first to use it. The pointed iron rod acts like a magnet and grabs an approaching lightning bolt from the sky before it can strike the rooftop. The electricity then travels safely down a long wire into the ground. 
It prevents fires and keeps dangerous amounts of electricity away from the house. Now, this gadget goes by many names, such as the grabber. Everyone has seen one. It's the long stick that helps grab, item, grab items from out of reach places. Ben invented the long device and called it the long arm because it worked like a very long arm. And it grabs, opens and shuts. He's pulling it open and shut. Used a chain. Now, swimmers and divers use flippers to move faster through the water. Ben invented things even when he was a boy. He was an avid swimmer and built wooden flappers for both his hands and feet. Now, ships travel across the Gulf Stream to take advantage of the faster current. Ben measured, charted, and publicized the Gulf Stream during his eight voyages across the Atlantic Ocean. Now, we understand and accept the benefits from vitamin C. Ben was an early promoter of eating citrus fruits to help prevent a disease called scurvy. Now, the musical for a musical interlude. Ben invented the glass harmonica. He was able to create music by simply touching his fing wet fingers to a row of spinning glass bowls. Mozart and Beethoven were so moved by the sounds that they composed for the instrument. Today, glass harmonicas, harmonicas are very rare. You are more likely to find one in a museum than in a music store. Right here. Now, our fireplaces are very efficient and easy to use. Ben improved on the primitive fireplace of his day when he designed the Pennsylvania fireplace, later renamed the Franklin stove. He built it with iron to contain the heat from a fire log after the logs were burned. It also sat away from the wall to heat the room more evenly. It's kind of like a wood-burning stove. The smoke ventilation was not perfect, but later inventors improved it. Before Ben's fireplace, indoor smoke could be suffocating. Means you couldn't breathe. Now, chairs come in all shapes and sizes. Ben designed two chairs that are still very useful. The riding chair combined a desk and chair in one. It's kind of like your desk. The library chair was a combination of a chair and a step ladder so you could reach the high books. Now, everyone has seen a rocking chair, but not many have seen Dr. Franklin's rocking chair. 
Ben invented one rocking chair with a fan on top. And one that churned butter. So while you rock, the big leaf fans you, cooled you down. And then for um, right here to churn butter, because instead of using your hand to churn all the time, he hooked it up to, he took the churn up to the rocking chair. So every time you rocked, it churned it for you. Now, every year we observe daylight savings time, which means we set our clocks ahead one hour in the springtime. We spring forward. As a result, it stays darker longer in the morning. When most people are sleeping, and stays light longer at the end of the day. So we can save more energy. In the fall, we return the clocks to standard time. We fall back. Ben suggested this idea in one of his essays as a way to save money by burning fewer candles. Farmers could also gain more work time in the evening. Daylight savings time was not officially practiced until World War I, more than 100 years later. As for clocks, Ben designed the first clock with a second hand. Now, every automobile has an odometer to measure the distance it travels. Ben invented the odometer when he was postmaster general so he could measure his postal routes to see how far his routes were. That's what an odometer says your mileage. Now, also, every large community includes a library, a hospital, a post office, a fire department, and a sanitation department. Ben lived in a city that had none of these establishments or businesses. So he helped organize the first of each. He helped organize the first library the hospital, the sanitation, that's the pick up the trash, the post office, and the fire department. Now and then, we owe thanks to Ben for his important inventions. But many would agree that his greatest accomplishment came in the form of documents. Documents that helped shape the world. Ben had a pivotal role in developing America's Constitution. The Treaty of Alliance with France. The Treaty of Peace with England. And the Declaration of Independence. It's remarkable that one man could achieve so much in a lifetime. He has certainly helped to form the modern world. With his contributions, con contributions help to form the future. That space car coming. Got robots serving food. Yeah, we have that now. It's pretty good, wasn't it? Have you invented something? What have you invented to make your life easier? Tell me about your invention or which invention do you like the best? 
draw me a picture or write it in the comments. I hope you enjoyed being now and then. And give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and share with your friends. Most importantly, give somebody a hug and tell them you love them.